Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Now that we've got the main bones in place, let's go ahead and take a look at their axis of rotation. Now, depending on which viewport you put these in and how you've rotated them, um, they may have a different axis of rotation than mine do here. But let's take a look at this. If I go over here to the armature display panel over here, and I turn on axes, we can see that we've got these axes on each of the bones. So for these bones here, you can see that the Z axis is pointing up and the X axis is pointing forward. The main thing you want from this is you want to be consistent. Um, there are a lot of ways to do this, but for this particular character, what I'd like to do is have the main axis of rotation for the bones be around the x-axis. And for that bend, that main bend, to be in a positive direction. So let me show you what I mean here. So if we take a look at, say, this bone here. What I want is the main axis of rotation, or this bend here, to be around the x-axis. So what I'm going to do is come down here with the roll field in the properties panel, I'm going to click and drag that until that x-axis is pointing down. Now, I'm not sure that's the way I want it yet. Let me check the bend on that. So I'm going to switch to pose mode. And now we are in the mode in which we can actually animate the rig. And I'm going to come up here to rotation and click and drag in the x-axis. Now notice when I go in the positive x, it bends like a, a normal arm. And I, when I go in the negative x, it bends in a very painful way. So um, that's what I want. I want the main axis of rotation to be around the x-axis. And I want the main direction of bend to be in the positive rotation. So let's take a look at this one here. I'm going to go back to edit mode. And once again, I want that rotation to be um, moving the arm forward and back. So I'm going to take this roll and put the x-axis pointing down, the z-axis pointing forward. And now let's go back to pose mode and just check that. So I go in the positive. That's good. It goes forward negative, it goes back. That's good. So I'm going to put it back to zero there. Now for the hand, the main axis of rotation is really going to be up and up and down. So for this, I want the positive to be going down ah, and the negative to be going up. So that's going in the wrong, wrong direction there. So what I need is I need to change that axis so it's still going around the X, but the Z is probably going to need to point down here. So I'm going to switch back to edit mode and go to the roll here and spin that down so the Z points down. Let's try that. I'll go back to the pose and try the X. And yes, so now the X is bending in the positive direction when the hand goes down and the negative direction when it goes up. And that's what I want. This bone here, let's take a look at this. I kind of want it to go back and forth like this bone here. So I'm going to go back to edit mode and let's roll this so the X is down and the Z is forward. All right, so let's take a look at the other bones in the chain as well. How about this head bone? That is, oh, let's go up here, I'm sorry. So Z is pointing forward, X is pointing to the character's left. Let's test the roll on that and see if that's what we want. I'll go to pose mode and drag in the X. So if I go positive, he goes forward, and that's what I want. I want the positive forward and negative back. That'll work. So now we just need to go down the chain here and make sure that all of these are the same, the Z pointing forward and the rotation around the X. 
the leg chain here. Let's take a look at this. This one, I think if I look at this in pose mode and rotate around the X, I'll find that the positive goes back. That's okay. I don't mind that at all. So I'm going to have the Z axis pointing backwards for, for these. And that should be fine. Now this one, the toe bone, if I rotate this in the X axis, positive goes up and negative goes down. That's okay. That's the way our foot actually bends. Okay, I think now we're ready to begin on the bones for the fingers. So I'm going to go back to edit mode here and deselect that. And then press Shift A, select the bone, and let's move it up into place. I'm going to move this base of the bone to where the knuckle of the hand would be. And maybe move this down here. From the top view, let's move it into place here. So I'm going to move that right so this base is at the knuckle. So I'll line that up there, extrude to here, and then extrude again to here. Now let's take a look at the bones before we do anything else. Let's take a look at their axis of rotation here. So once again, what I want to do is rotate around the X. And it looks like the X is pointing up here. So what I need to do is roll this down so the Z is pointing down, like so. And if I go into pose mode, I should see that when I rotate in the positive X, it rolls, it rotates down. And that's what we want. All right, let's take a look at these now. Same thing needs to happen here in edit mode. Take the roll and point that Z straight down. And here as well. Now I'm just going to adjust the joints just a little bit to get them where I want them. And also to keep everything clean and, and tidy, let's go ahead and name the bones here. Um, I'm going to turn on names so we can see the names here. And this one is just called bone, and that's not going to do. Let's call this mid1.l. Let's call this mid2.l, and then mid3. All right, so now that we have those bones in place and with the proper rotation, let's go ahead and duplicate these for the other bones. So I'm going to select this chain, press Shift D, and move it to another finger here. So I'll take this and put the base at the base of the finger. And let's move this down so that joint is in line with that edge. And it looks like this joint's already there. Great. And let's name these. So ring1.l. Let's make sure they're in place. I think I'll move them down a hair. And do it again. So let's grab these and move these down. Let's duplicate and move down to the index. Line up the joints with the edges. And give them all a proper name. Let's work on the pinky. And finally, the thumb. Let's duplicate this finger. And let's rotate it and get it lined up here. And let's name the bones. And now the thumb is rotated just a bit 
to the outside, so we need to rotate the bones to match that. So for this one, I'll go up and use the roll field here to click and drag and rotate that bone to match the angle of the thumb. And I'll do that with this one just to get them all lined up. And this one as well. Now it looks like a couple of these chains are a little bit too high in the fingers. I'm going to bring these down a bit. Well, now that we've finished up the fingers here, let's go ahead and work on parenting all of these things in a proper hierarchy. I'm going to go ahead and turn off names and axes just for a minute here so we can see these a little better. Currently, there's really no relationship between the fingers and the hand bone and between the arm and the shoulder and the shoulder and the torso, etc., etc. So we really need to parent these one to the other. So for the fingers here, what we can do is select one of the base bones of the fingers, shift select the hand, and press Control p and choose Keep Offset. And that will parent this chain to the hand bone. So let's go ahead and do that for these others. Control p Keep Offset, etc., etc. And the thumb here. Now, there are more complex ways of rigging a hand and fingers. There's a very nice tutorial on uh, Blender Guru by Lee Salvemini, um, where he goes over a more complex and interesting rig for the hand. So if you're interested in uh, going one step further, check that out. It's really good. All right, so let's uh, parent the arm to the shoulder here. Control P, keep offset. And then let's also parent the shoulder to the spine too. Okay, so now if I went into pose mode, you can see that if I if I rotate this, the arm comes along with it. And if I rotate the shoulder, that too comes with it. And if I rotate the hand, that all the fingers are parented as well. And that's good. That's what we want. So I'm going to go back to edit mode now here. And let's parent the upper leg bone to the root bone. Control P and keep offset. Now the last thing I'd like to do for this video is to mirror the arm and leg chains over to the other side of the character. Um, to do this though, uh, I'm going to turn off x-axis mirror. I had turned this on earlier. I really haven't needed it because we've only been working on one side of the character. But to mirror this over, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Let's work on the leg bones first. What I'm going to do is select all of these bones in the chain. And what I'm going to do is duplicate this chain and then mirror it over to the other side. But to do that I need the pivot point of this chain to be in the center of the grid because we're going to be mirroring over around that center point of the grid. So to do that I'm just going to come down here to the little pivot center rotation menu item and choose 3D cursor because I'm going to temporarily put the pivot point at the 3D cursor. Now, before I do this, I want to come over and turn on the Names field because I want to show you something cool here. So I have all the names created here for all the bones, up leg L, low leg L, etc. So one thing that we can do is use a feature in Blender called Flip Names, which is very cool. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this chain, Shift D, and then click. And now you see that these bones are called toe.l.001. 
that's not what we want. So I'm going to press the W key for specials and then come down here to flip names and it changes all the bones to toe.r, foot.r, etc. That's nice. I like that. Okay, so now let's mirror it over. So let's press control M, then hit the X key to tell it to mirror in the X axis, and then hit enter or return. And now we've we've updated the names on the rig and we've mirrored it over. That's kind of cool. All right, let's try it again up here. So I'm going to select from the shoulder down and I'll just uh, hold control and click and drag for to select these bones here. And once again, what I want to do is press shift D and click, press W, choose flip names, then press control M and the X key. And we have, oh, and return. <laughs> okay, so now we have our chains mirrored over to the other side. That's nice. That's what I like to see. Okay, so now we have our main deform bones set up for the character. Uh, in the next video, I think what we'll do is bind the character mesh to the rig and talk a bit about weight painting. So hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.